for our next award, we're going to meet a PGA master professional whose commitment to the education of current and future PGA members is unwavering. Illinois PGA section professional Todd Soans has dedicated his career to helping coaches coach better and players play better golf, earning him the 2019 Horton Smith Award. We now visit the Windy City to educate ourselves more on this masterful educator. It's been a journey of constant learning and improving as a coach so that I could help others. Remember, play the ball a little further back in your stance. We're gonna hit a few shots with this ball and all I want you to do is kind of go back to shoulder and finish more at just at the shoulder. When you see Todd for a lesson, it's not a lesson, it's an experience. That's your top. Because if you keep going from there, you lose that. He's not out there with his arms folded and you know kicks a ball over to him, try that again. He's in there and saying, you know, that was that was pretty good. I think you're getting the hang of it. Great. That's what I'm looking for. See? Todd's a very generous person, a uh, very energetic person. Um, just fun to be around and is a guy that uh, you want to work with for sure. I always thought I worked hard and then I saw Todd. I was like, oh my God, his work ethic's incredible. He's always trying to do something better for the program. Todd embodies what being a golf professional is. He gives back to his organization, he gives back to fellow PGA professionals, and he gives to his students. The game grows when people play better. And I believe that the game dissipates when people you know, get frustrated and don't play. I want to see people enjoy what I get to enjoy. So yeah, I want to help the game. Right? It's helped me. Todd Soans opened the Impact Golf School in 1997. Since 2006, it's been ranked the number one golf school in the Midwest, as well as fourth in the nation by Golf Magazine. But coaching golfers is only a fraction of the impact that Todd has made on the game. Todd's teaching just goes beyond his own relationships with his own students, and it bleeds pretty heavily into our whole community of teachers. What's unique about Todd is that he's never been proprietary about his information, he wants to share it. He wants to make sure that every single associate, every other member is constantly improving. Todd's own educational journey is no different. In the spirit of self-betterment, Todd earned the distinction of PGA Master Professional in April of 2019. By becoming a master professional, he's really setting an example that even with all the success that he's had, he was still willing to achieve the highest designation in our association. He said, look, if I'm gonna set an example for people that are coming and taking lessons with me or setting an example for those that are working under me, how can I do that if I'm not striving to be the best that I can? I think the number one attribute of the great teachers that I've been around is a sense of humility. And if you don't have that and you think you know it all, you're gonna stop learning. Todd has always set an example by giving back to his fellow PGA professionals. He's engaged at the national level and has supported the Teaching and Coaching Summit and the Education Committee at headquarters for years and years. I sit with him on, on the Coaching Player Development Committee. He's like the ideal com committee member. He's always part of it and he cares about it. And he, he genuinely wants to see everyone get better. While Todd continues to positively impact so many lives through PGA education, his passion for giving back extends beyond the game of golf. Todd is a service-oriented individual. He does an annual event with his children on mission trips. I mean, he's just a giving, giving person all of the time. Just being born here is a blessing. And so traveling to Honduras was life-changing. I take my sons there every year. We do a father, you know, child trip, and I do it with a group of guys, about 50 of us. We take our children there and they get to see it and they get to learn from it. And until you go to a place like that and live in it and see the space and see the people, you will not understand what we have here. He's willing to give up his own time to make money to help other people out. He took that same position with the PJ of America. You need me to do this, you can't pay me, I'll do it anyway. Well, if we get the club face square, you're just gonna start hitting some straight pulls. That's progress. That's wonderful. So you're just trying to feel this, try not to be so tight. Right, yep, just relax, good. He's very passionate about sharing his knowledge to help people play better golf. The PGA is a better association for having a PGA member like Todd, but his fellow PGA professionals are better because of his impact on their education. 
whatever you're trying to do. You know, if you want to be a club professional, then you should be working under the best club professionals. If you want to be a teacher professional, you should be working underneath the best teacher professionals. Make your focus, especially on the front end, learning and listening and stay humble and you'll, you'll get where you want to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 Horton Smith Award winner, PGA Master Professional, Todd Sones. So Todd, you've uh, advanced to the educational program for the PGA of America, becoming a PGA Master Professional. That's the highest educational honor a PGA member can ever earn. This says designation is really uh, a defining a career if you achieve Master Professional status. Why was becoming a Master Professional such an important target for you? Well, to be honest, I mean, when I think back to where I started, you know, I was in high school when I got into the PGA of America, right? And I was, I looked up to a guy named Jimmy Hungerford. He was the club professional and you know, keep this in mind for everybody, all the professionals here, you never know who's watching you. And so just as a young man, I'm watching this guy, Jimmy Hungerford, Ontario Country Club. And he was the guy, you know, he's a good player. People loved him. I'm like, he, he's living a good life. And so I aspired to that. And so I got into the PGA of America right out of high school. I did not go to college. And the Peach of America is, is, is my education system. I mean, I've gone to so many different seminars, and I mean, I, you know, I'm going to leave here Sunday and go to the Top 100 Teachers Retreat and listen to my good friend Mike Adams speak, and I just constantly want to learn. I want to get better. So, you know, that's, what, that's what's, you know, I, I just, you know what, when I stop learning, then I need to stop teaching, right? That's the bottom line. Clearly not done learning and not done teaching as well. Currently helping develop the PGA of America's 3.0 educational program. Can you give us a little sneak peek as far as what's going on and well, describe your passion for the member it education? It doesn't need to be a sneak peek okay. because it's already out. Like it, right? it. And the reviews have been great. And it says a lot about the PGA of America because, you know, the golf business is evolving. When I got into the business in 1981, everybody was basically a head professional and you did a little bit of everything. You taught and you did, you know, scoring and you ran tournaments and you ran golf shops. So, and there's still some jobs out there, but more and more, you know, there's, there's people that just operate a golf club, right? And their job is to really service the, the people that are playing golf. And then there's more people like me that are just teaching. And the PJ is adapting to that. And so what's great about this program is after you go through level one, you can designate what you want to be. You know, the people that work with me, they're teachers, and they really want to focus on, the, they want to spend their time focusing in on what will help them in their career. And they don't want to spend time doing things that won't help them. So I think it's, my hat, hat's off to the, well, and Ed, I bargain and really pushed the, pushed the teaching initiative a lot. So it just allows people to streamline their education to be successful in their career. So it's, it's great. The PJ is progressive. Absolutely. And when you take a look at your actual golf school, Impact Golf School, it's made quite an impact itself, annually being ranked among the top golf schools in the country. You've said that you want to coach anyone who's really willing to do their part to learn. Discuss how t teaching is and coaching is really a part of your DNA. You know, I've had, we have staff meetings, and I've never wanted to kind of um, put myself in a position where I was just teaching one category like junior players or, win, or anything. I want to teach people that want to get better. I, I don't care. I mean, I've been fortunate to teach, teach some tour players. People ask me, you know, who do you like to teach? And I'm like, I like to teach people that want to learn. I don't care if you've never put your hands on the golf club. As a matter of fact, you know, we have a program. It's a 101 women's program. And I have more fun just watching, especially my staff, teaching um, people that have never put their hands on the golf club and watching their eyes light up when they hit a solid shot, because that's when we get hooked. 
you know, we get hooked when we finally compress a golf ball and we feel that and it's like, oh, I can do this. And so I love seeing that. So, I, you know, anybody that wants to get better, I want to help them, right? Simple as that. I mentioned earlier that you're in the top 100 in terms of uh, teachers in the country. Was that a goal of yours? Is that an aspirable goal, something you think makes sense for a PGA Tour professional to aspire to? You know, here's what I would say about, I'm, I'm very honest about this. I know a lot of people do really well when they set goals, and I've never been that type of individual. I've never set really any goals. I just, I wake up and I go, okay, what's on my plate today? And how can I do the best job I can today with what's in front of me? And you know, if you keep doing that every day, things seem to take care of themselves. You know, like as I can't thank the PJ and all the, all that went on for this to happen, you know, the, the video crew and all that, that goes on. It's just amazing to me. But those things take care of themselves when you just take care of things day to day, right? Absolutely so. But the top 50, top 100 lists and all those, is there a, a downside in terms of the competitive nature among teachers? Does the goal end up being to get on a list as opposed to being the best teacher you can be? You know, I, well, the list came out in 1996, and I was fortunate to get on the list when it was, you know, it was like, what's that? And, um, you know, the upside to it is that, you know, I'm really excited to go to Pinehurst and listen to, there's a list of speakers, and I'm so excited to see that, right? The downside, you're right, there's a bit of competitiveness that happens now that didn't happen when those lists um, didn't exist. And, you know, I just am a firm believer that competition needs to be on the golf course. It does not need to be among teachers. We need to help each other. We need to have an open mind, stay humble, like we I talked about in the video. Um, you know, the minute you think you know it, you know, you're not going to listen to someone else who might have a different way. You know, I was doing a, a, a session um, this summer, a little short game clinic for some of the uh, members, and, you know, Kevin Weeks was there, and, you know, I was hitting some shots the way I teach a, what I call a high slider. And I asked Kevin at, and after I go, how do you teach a shot? And he, he teaches it a completely different way. And I sat there and listened, and guess what I did the next day? I went to my short game area and started working on the way that, you know, I learned from him. And so now I have another shot that I can teach people in certain situations that I wouldn't have if I didn't listen to Kevin. You know, so I'm just a big believer that we all need to help each other. We all need to get better together so that we can help more people and grow the game of golf. I don't know anybody that doesn't want to play that's not playing better. Right, But your teaching doesn't necessarily restrict itself to the game of golf and the golf course. Also, your personal life as well with those mission trips. Is that basically a natural extension as far as your teaching, in terms of teaching your family, the priorities in life? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an extension of what I believe in that um, we're, anybody in this room is so blessed. To, I, if you're born in this country, you were born with a heads up. I mean, you know, you, we're so fortunate, and by going to Honduras and on these service trips, mission trips, whatever you want to call them, you know, I've been going eight years now, and, you know, I have relationships with the kids in the, at the different orphanages. We see them every year. My boys now have relationships with some of these kids, and it's, you know, my little guy's, oh, and he's 13, I was like, I regret not taking him out of school, and I wish I would have brought both my sons here, but, um, you know, Owen constantly asks me, you know, we're going, right, Dad? I want to go see L Day, and I want to see Walter. He's got two little buddies there. He cannot wait to see. So there's no way you can tell them about that. They have to experience it, right? And you've got to get on a plane. You've got to go to a place like that. I would tell anybody here that it'll be, it will be life-changing for you, and you will appreciate what you have here way more than if you never did that. It's important. Helping people on and off the golf course, the award is certainly earned and legitimate for you. Thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much. Great I appreciate call. that. Appreciate it. Great job.